favorite vintner. Greetings, gentlemen. How are you all today? I hope fine. Because I'm not doing so good, you see. <clears throat> it's not him. Uh, damn stinking bandits. Is it just me, or did we agree you'd wait for my signal? That was the plan, but... Great shot. Good thing you reacted. Can't say how that would have ended otherwise. At your service. It was a good fight. We managed to capture one of the scoundrels. Let's ask him a few Indeed. questions. Indeed. Come on. Witcher, a moment. Uh. I was wrong about you. You had no reason to trust me, you know? Well, had no reason to trust me, and I didn't do much to change that. True. You are not the most endearing of men. At any rate... I'll take I that as a compliment. And I appreciate it. Yep. Let us go to her grace. She awaits nearby. Hmm. I don't know she'd come. Not at all surprised. Expected she'd want to oversee this personally. The master's eye fattens the cough. You're beginning to understand that, I see. This prisoner of yours, bring him to me. We must ask him some questions. <sighs> Captain, do the honors. Who sent you? His name is Dog. They say he plowed your mother. <sighs> Once again, who sent you? Your nun's lover. They call it. Wait. If he doesn't wish to speak, he needs it. I can think of several other ways he can be helpful. I'm certain the Witcher will need bait to lure the beast of Beauclair. What? Mmm. That's a good idea. Sure can. Fresh out. In that case, he's all yours. Captain, have your men find me a strong rope. Kind that won't snap when we hang this fellow from a tree. R rope? Lot yep. Of bait. Great for monsters. Provided they catch the scent of its blood. But I'll see to that. What? No. Crikey, no! Don't let them! Stop screaming. Save your strength. Got a long night ahead of you. No! Don't let him! I I'll talk! What's that? Now you'll talk, huh? Interesting. So, where were these barrels going? Barrels? Where were you going to take them? I don't know. Captain... Need that rope after all. <clears throat> truly don't know. Hornet's the leader, only he ever knew where to go. But he lies over there, dead. That one. The first barrel went to a warehouse at the port. But where this one was bound, I don't know. I, I speak true. You must believe me. Fine. So who hired you? Who hired you? He... he'll kill me. Ought to be worried about me right now. Who is he? Go on, man. Spit it out. 
The Centrian. That is what they call him. I've never seen him, but I know he mustered the man for this caper. That's what they said, that we were working for the Centrian. I don't know anything else. I swear it. Hmm. Take him away. Throw him in the dungeon. He shall await trial there. Captain, we ride to town. Gather your men and seek out the Cynthian. Someone else must have seen him, must know of him. Yes, Your Grace. I'll report to the palace as soon as I learn anything. I shan't return to the palace. Our mission has not yet ended. The Witcher and I will await you at the guard post near the port. All right, let's go. Let's go to town. It's late. Relax, he'll come. There's something I'd like to know. How can you be so damned calm? Side effects well, of mutations. We witchers rarely get the jitters. Yeah. If something has happened to him. Captain seems like a man who can take care of himself. Perhaps he can, but this Cynthian appears to be no common bandit. He managed to steal ducal wine from under my guardsman's gnosis. We only learned of it through a fortunate coincidence. And it was he who specified the victims for the vampire. One must be exceptionally confident to blackmail such a monster. Yeah. Well... If the monster was being blackmailed, maybe someone was blackmailing the blackmailer. Wouldn't be the so first time. This Cintrian's behind the kidnapping and blackmail. Might have just handled the theft of the wine. Even if it's so, he then sold the wine to the blackmailers. As I see it, that makes him an accomplice. Oh yeah. Find the that too. Whether or not he's responsible for the murders. Even if none of it's his doing, he could still know our blackmailer's identity. Besides, it's one thing to know who ordered the killings. Other thing entirely and just as important is why they... Someone's coming. Captain, why so long? We expected you hours ago. This Cintrian does not work alone. We are fighting an organization, not one man. Bandits attacked us, not a small force either. One of my boys has a broken arm, another a shattered knee, lamed for life. And the word on the street is there's a hefty bounty on your head, Geralt. Me? What did I do? Well, anyway, it's not the first time. Used to it. Not the first time I've been hunted. Must you always? Now, like I said, part of my charm. Warehouse where the wine was delivered, we identified it, then learned who had hired it out. This proved to be a beggar, a stand-in. We found hmm. him. He admitted all. A man had paid him to sign the lease. A man he met while begging outside the pheasantry. There, hmm. fate lent us a hand. A waitress recalled spilling wine on a nobleman who spoke with a Cintrian accent. What did he look like? Her description was not helpful. Handsome, well-dressed, with a beard. No distinguishing marks. This could be anyone. Yeah. But she remembered his female companion very well, as she recognized her. On the Cintrian's arm was Cecilia Bellant. The singer? I've heard of her. She said to be gifted, fairy. The same. We went to her home immediately. Cecilia was not there, but we questioned her servants. A chambermaid claimed Cecilia is to meet a Cintrian gentleman tonight. She'd invited him to a reception mounted by the Mandragora. Hmm. What's that? The Mandragora? What's that? A club. An affiliation of local artists. Painters, sculptors, troubadours and dancers. Never heard of it. Huh. It makes you the mystique. Consciously, I think. Behaving like an exclusive cabal. Artistic elites. Every now and again they mount soirees. Only wealthy patrons are invited. All arrive in elaborate masks, then drink and flirt. Hmm, sounds nice. Well, I need to nab the Cintrian. Gotta nab the Cintrian. Seems we have to go to that get-together. 
You read my mind, Witcher. I shall gather my men, surround the establishment. Not a mouse will squeeze through. Out of the question. Mm. No. If the Synthrian truly does have men about the city, he will find out and escape once again. Duchess is right. Need to be careful. Best go there, blend in with the crowd. Precisely what we shall do. <sighs> we, your grace. Geralt and I. In that sort of company, the Witcher could use my help. Where's the event going to be held? The Mandragora always assembles at the same place. A residence in Oatville. It's a very distinguished district. Geralt, mm. you must don appropriate attire. Then meet me in uh, Oatville in Mountebank Alley. Again with the appropriate attire shit? It's like the fifth time. <sighs> Late. Now, why does that not surprise me? Ah, fashionably late. Oh. She's late, not not me. Okay. Well, then it's inexcusable. Why is she late? <sighs> well, well. I did not expect you to have such a sense of style. Yeah, yeah, let's just get this Nothing over with. Like Nothing like a budding artist, of course, but... Just one other detail. Here, put it on. A mask. What? All who attend the Mandragora Soiree wear them. If you have one on, oh. no one asks who you are. Right. Alright, let's go inside. Let's go. Soiree started. Mm-hmm. Wise of you to hide your weapons. They'd not have let us in otherwise, that's certain. Believe me, that was not my option. They magically disappeared. How do we find the Synthrian? Have you a plan? The key is not to spook him. Need to ask after his partner, Cecilia, first. Less likely to raise suspicions. As soon as we find her, we find him. Right. Yeah. Right you are. We must proceed with caution. Come, it's our turn. <clears throat> Madame, Monsieur, an extraordinary pleasure to welcome you to the Mandragora's soiree. Tonight, yep. I particularly recommend you direct your attention to the performances prepared by artists of our community. What are these performances? Tell us about these performances. This evening, the Mandragora has the honor to present three superb displays of artistry. The first was a concert by Cecilia Belont, a singer whose voice, were it stone, would surely be a diamond. Sadly, Mademoiselle Cecilia has sung. Shame. Oh. You would have loved to hear her. Uh, luckily, you are in time to see the great Calesti, a master of visual illusions, come to us from far off a fear. Visual illusions. Huh. And the third artist? The third and fourth, for they are a duo, are the Tuven brothers, presenting their newest pantomime. Hmm. Well, we're looking for Cecilia Belante. We were really hoping to meet Cecilia Belant. You are big fans. I surmise. Yeah, I'm yeah. Certain you will have ample opportunity to converse with her. It cannot be easy to identify anyone in this crowd. Perhaps you could help us find her. Hmm. I don't know where she is now, but I can give you a clue. Let's hear it. Seek the Kaviri Orchid. Meaning? Cecilia wears one in her hair. You shall recognize her easily by the orchid. Hmm. Well, well. And Alliance always complaining about artists being poor as temple mice. And yet here we are. The residence belongs to none. <coughs> guests here. Oriana, she owns this. Woman in the black dress. There on the balcony. Got her. Oh. Doesn't wear a mask. It would be pointless. All would know her anyway. Kaviri Orchid. Let's look for it. If we find Cecilia, we'll find the Cintrian. Go on, Geralt. Be bold. Show us the artist in you. The pencils. Cast them at the canvas. 
Voila! Fine. Now, allow me a moment to ponder. My appraisal? The painting depicts spiritual dualism. The continual battle between good and evil. And defiance. <laughs> oh yes, that's him, all right. Good versus evil. The dualistic nature of man. And defiance. Do not disturb! Shoo! Shoo! Greetings. It's the right flower. Of course it is! A Koviri orchid lends just the right contrast to her complexion. Need to talk to your model. It'll only take a minute. To me? Lie still! You may speak, but for love's sake, do not move. Are you, uh, Cecilia Bilant? We came here to meet you, specifically. To meet me? But... why? Centrian Noble you came here with. Wanted to ask you about him. Centrian Noble? Ah! You must think I'm Cecilia. Orchid uh, confused me. I told you not to move! As she concluded her performance, Cecilia tossed the flower into the crowd. I caught oh. it. But I did see the nobleman. Really like to talk to him. What did he look like? Like many here. Tall, dark, masked. Know where he might be now. Did he have an orchid on his hair? He gave Cecilia a small gift. A heart-shaped box. Then they strolled off together towards the refreshment tables. Excuse me, madame. Monsieur, I cannot work like this. You must leave now. <sighs> yeah. How about that, huh? Someone left their loot behind. Looks a little like dandelions. This was scratched. Someone beat him twice. Empty heart-shaped box. Cecilia must have left it behind. It looks like it held a flask of perfume. A gift from the Cynthrian, I imagine. Scent still hangs in the air. Let's follow it. Look, lanterns. They say releasing them brings good luck. Oh, yeah? Let's give it a try. Get out of here, lantern. I don't. I'm just giving you entertainment. Sorry, only artists in the Mandragora allowed. Yeah, th that's us. Consider what to do. All right. I'd recognize that voice anywhere. Oh. You, you must be mistaking me for someone else. I served 15 years in the palace. Your Grace, I did not mistake you for anyone. Shh! Not so loud. We are here incognito, on state business. Yes, Your Grace. How may I serve? Don't tell anyone you've seen us. I hope we can count on your discretion. Of course. I shall be silent as the grave. Good, because if you squeak, you will be in a grave. Have you seen Cecilia Bellant? Looking for Cecilia Bellant. Seen her? She's in her dressing room, where she went with a nobleman. They clearly were drawn to each other. What did the man look like? Tall, broad-shouldered, a black beard peeping out from under his mask, and he spoke with a foreign accent, a drawl of sorts. That must be him. Mm. We must get to the dress. A southern drawl. Yes, Your Grace. I'll take you. No, stay here. Anyone tries to flee, you stop them. Understood. All right. <clears throat> that. That must be Cecilia. Hmm. We're too late. He. He slit her throat. The brute. Didn't go out the door. Guard would have noticed. Might still be somewhere here. You must find him before he harms another. I shall alert Oriana. At once. She should bring her soiree to a close. Shouldn't split up. Get out, I will be fine. Go after that rogue. I shall fetch help. Alright. If that's what the 
Lady wishes shall be done. Hmm. Killed her, then went out on the balcony. Huh. Bloody handprint. Mm -hmm. It's his. Left a handprint behind. Made a platform. Cover. Hmm. Must be pretty strong, too. Hmm. Broke the flower pot when moving the door, then stepped in the soil. Aha! Uh -huh. Gotcha! Must have climbed this ladder. Hmm. Well, let's go climb that ladder. Hello? I could still be here. Need to stay alert. Blood stains. Huh. Well, he's he's definitely here. Links of a snap chain. Jewel must have been on it. Hmm. Precious stone. Bloody fingerprint on it. Thief came for this. Must have. Tiny chain links next to it. From a snapped necklace. Seems there was a struggle. Mm. Jewelry box. Locks busted. Picked open, probably. Yeah, probably. What's this? Smashed mirror. Someone crashed into it hard, then sank to the floor. Hmm. Intriguing. Looks valuable, but it's not what he came for. Huh. Looks valuable. Alright, alright. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Geralt. I just need to hurry this up this examine this examine this examine it examine it sconce is bent smeared with blood someone tried to <sighs> probably i don't know blood on the window frame someone climb out fall out well let's follow him maybe not yet uh oh hunting knife hmm ornamented used during the fight probably Huh, what could this possibly in the box, it mean? Seems. Centrion tried to steal it, but someone got in his way. They fought? They fought. Probably, so, yeah. It's clear. Ended with one of them flying out the window. Fall had to have killed them. Jewel's still here, though. So our Centrion must have been the flyer. Mmm. In that case, that's pretty bad. So, this is the tracker. A witcher, yes? Indeed. Greetings. We found the body together. Then he set off in pursuit of the killer. And ended up here. But I've only found evidence of a fight. Seems the Centrians killed his last. Finally failed this time. Shame it happened too late for Cecilia. Poor girl. Always told her she chose her males badly. But I would never have suspected she could arrive with a murderer. I'll alert the staff. Have them see to her body at once. Meanwhile, we should sit. I will tell you everything in full detail. Okay. I mean, we should probably examine and see if the I caught him body was there. To burgle, rifling through my possessions. What did you do? Summon the guards? There was no time. I feared he'd escape, refused to give him the chance. He stood with his back to me, so I attacked. He struck his head on a picture frame as we struggled. He was bleeding, dazed, and then he drew a knife. Everything happened very quickly then. I knocked the weapon out of his hand and pushed him hard. He fell out of the window. Just so. Huh. Pretty imprudent attacking him. None too wise picking a fight with an armed robber. Why? Because I'm a woman, in a frock rather than plate. I can take care of myself. No, because he's a thief a and... might look like mere ornament. Uh, but plunged into an eye, it can be as effective as a blade. Alright. I think I know what the thief was after. Claim the man was trying to rob you when you walked into the room? Yes. He stood over my dressing table, pouring through my jewelry. Mm-hmm. After this is my guess. Picked it up while searching. Why, that's the heart of Toussaint. 
Oriana, how did you ever come to have it? I bought it, many years ago, from a young woman. What makes this jewel so important? Jewel seems important. Why? The heart is an heirloom. It belonged to my family for years. Then it disappeared. I didn't think we would ever recover it. Seems someone is very determined to find it. The thief left his tool bag behind. Found this drawing inside it. Look. Hmm. The heart of Toussaint. Representation's pretty faithful. Centrian must have been on a job. Got very clear instructions what to look for. So... So it is not him we seek, but his employer. Is this Probably, the yeah. Also happened on the weapon he attacked Oriana with. Hunting knife. Used to skin game. Got an emblem on its hilt. This crest is used by the Lords of Duntine. The present master of the castle is a passionate hunter. Our next lead, perhaps. What's Duntin? What's that? Duntine. Duntine. Abandoned ruin just a few years ago. More recently, the family's last heir, Roderick, returned to his ancestral seat and restored the castle. Know any more about this Roderick? His grandfather was an advisor to Queen Ademarta. The family received those lands as a grant for his service. Roderick is quite the recluse. He avoids society, preferring the company of a small team of knights. Though the latter term is imprecise, as they seem more akin to vandals with crests on their shields. Hmm. Well, we need to investigate, see what's there. Oriana, everything we discussed here, hope you'll keep it to yourself. Counting on it, in fact. Word gets out he, uh, failed in his attempt to steal the jewel. His employer could run. We need to proceed cautiously. Discretion is in the interest of us all. I'll not ask what this is about, just as I expect not to be troubled about it again. By anyone. <clears throat> Forgive me, Madam Oriana, but might I have a word? You must excuse me a moment. <clears throat> what do you think about Oriana? Oriana, any thoughts? Few make me feel awkward, but in her presence, I sense anxiety, discomfort. Something familiar about the drawing. The drawing. It's on the same type of paper the victim's names were written on. Drawn with the same ink, too. Seems the work of our blackmailers. Who were not only behind the beast's murders, but also stole the Son Real and sought to steal the heart of Toussaint. Look, the wine, the jewel, both tied to you intrinsically. Coincidence? Not something I'm willing to believe. Worried about one thing. That somewhere at the end of this scheme, plan might call for an attempt on your life. It... it could be something else altogether. What do you mean? My sister, Siana, might be among the schemers. What she makes you think so? Court when we were children. My parents banished her from the duchy. I've not seen her since. Banished her? Why was she pan banished? What did your sister do to <clears throat> be banished? Siana <clears throat> was... cursed. Parents run afoul of some mage? No. She was born at an inopportune moment. They said she was touched by the curse of the Black Sun. Geralt, is it true? Uh, Can an individual be evil because they were born during the wrong lunar phase? Could be the case. Maybe. Possibly because they were treated like lepers from birth. Isolated, prodded, ostracized. Uh, Couldn't have had it easy, Siana. She... She was angry at the whole world. She felt inferior, felt pain. Though she masked this with confidence, arrogance even. She could also be cruel at times. I recall one such situation. She persuaded Cedric the Coolbert that she could see the future in her dreams. We were children, and Cedric's brother was smitten with me. It was an innocent childhood crush. Siana knew of it. 
She told Cedric of a dream she had had, that he would die at the hands of his own brother. Cedric stole his father's sword and killed his brother. She destroyed two lives with a prank. Cedric mourns to this day. Hmm. In the end, they forced her to leave the palace. A decade passed. More. I've missed her terribly since. So she was banished because of a prank gone wrong and not... She was cursed? Alright. What makes you think she's involved, though? Think your sister might be involved? Why? You see... I recall her always being rather possessive, throwing jealous fits if I had something she didn't. Here, yeah, that's normal for sisters. Rivalry. True. I suppose I gave as good as I got. There are times I miss that very much. The mm. wine, its theft, was the first clue. That's very much like her. She always did enjoy stealing my toys. But I grew almost certain when I saw the heart of Toussaint. Siana received it from father as a gift. At a time when my parents thought of her as but an ill-behaved little girl, someone wanted some of my wine. The same someone ordered our family jewels stolen. Or recovered. It's my sister. It must be. A fallen princess satisfying whims, going after lost luxuries? Hmm. Sounds about right. Your mission has gained new import. You must go to Duntine, and if Siana is there, you must find her. No matter what she did, she is not to be harmed in any way, shape, or form. You must make sure of that. <sighs> I can't promise anything. Can't guarantee her safety, unfortunately. Especially if she's one of those responsible for these crimes. Witcher, that was not a request. Uh, so if she pulls a knife on me, I'm just supposed to let her stab me? I'd like to introduce... Regis! What a surprise! Uh, I had no idea you were in Beauclair. And this is... Uh, my very dear friend, Detlaf van der Eretain. An arrival from Nazaire. We are lending our combined resources to the Witcher's hunt. Ah, uh, yes. Splendid. But why are you here at Oriana's? They came to pay me a surprise visit, so I invited Regis in for a glass of wine. We've known each other for... Ooh, ages. Literally. Witcher, uh... I hear you know Regis too. Even that you are friends. Yeah. That's true. Few I can rely on like I can on Regis. And I hope he thinks the same of me. Curious. It seems opposites really do attract. Don't be fooled, dear. Geralt has many merits. He merely hides them from the world very diligently. Mm -hmm. You said you're both aiding him with his contract. It involves the Beast of Beauclair, I suspect. Master Indeed. Master, maybe you could satisfy <clears throat> my curiosity. What's it like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a monster? Knowing you've only two options, to kill or be killed. Despite what you might have heard, I don't lunge at every monster I see, sword in hand. Talking gets the job done, for some. Hmm. I wonder what a monster might have to say to you. It might want to apologize. My word. What might a monster wish to apologize to a witcher? For killing. Though at times there is no choice, when loved ones are at risk and require protection. <clears throat> yeah, just like humans. Same as humans. Put them in that situation, they'll kill too. You understand this. It must be why you and Regis are friends. Yeah, I played Heavy Rain. If I understand you correctly. You would rather help a monster than kill it. If possible, yeah. Or at least try. Enough about the Witcher trade for now. Regis mentioned you come from Nazaire. I spent time there as a child. Fond memories? It was wonderful. I was positively entranced by the land's fashions. Deep cut dresses I found most fascinating. I believe we're running short on wine. I should go to the cellar, bring another bottle. Let me go. When I help Regis, know your wine a lot better than I know mine. We shall return forthwith. 
Yeah. An exceptional conversation, don't you think? Vampires, a witcher, and the Duchess of Toussaint? My, my. Highly exceptional. Yeah, Duchess. that's one word for it. I wanted to talk to you in private. You crazy bringing Detloff here? Geralt, uh, allow me to explain. No, let me explain. He's dangerous, and you are gonna watch him. But that is precisely what I'm doing. Detloff believes you'll succeed in your task, and he'll not need to kill anymore. That is, not until he gets his hands on the men who kidnapped his Renner. Hmm. So, I'm guessing it's not just a coincidence, you stopping by. Guessing it's no accident you two stopped by. It would be quite some coincidence indeed. No, a dutiful little bird told us. Of course. And how do you know Oriana? Oriana? She really your friend? Can she be trusted? Uh, I met her years ago. Before I met you. And before she settled in Beauclair. We'd not seen one another in... Uh, oh, I, I can't begin to tell you in how long. Ages, I think it was. About her. Some other day. Right. Well, I think I have good news for you. I know where the blackmailers are. Now listen close. Manage to learn where the blackmailers are. They're based at Duntime Castle. That's splendid news. If they are there, Renna must be there as well. Duchess expects possible a long lost sister there too. Thing is, she might be involved. Could be behind the blackmailing. Do you mean to say your task now is to extract two women from the castle? Mean to say we can't breathe a word of this to Dedloff, who wants revenge above all else. Geralt, you must trust me. I've got a way with... No, Regis. Can't risk it. Gotta keep Dedloff here while I go to Duntine. Alone? Alone. That way I can make sure neither woman will come to any harm. I hope you know what you're doing. Fine. I shall see to Detloff. Good luck, my friend. Yep. Splendidly, Detloff. Ah, oh, I'm grateful you brought back those memories. You're back. It took you long enough. Contrary to Greetings. What believe, choosing a wine is not nearly as easy as it might seem. Especially a wine to be served to two exquisite ladies. Regis. Gallant as ever. I regret all the more that I shan't finish this second bottle with you. Duty calls. Your grace. Always a pleasure. I thank you for your help. It's been invaluable. Geralt, will you see me out? Uh, yeah, sure. You have exceptional friends. This Detlaf, an intriguing man to say the least. Yeah. He tell me tell you much about himself? Don't know him too well. He say much about himself? Not much, but I've a good sense of the true nature of those I meet. I'd not survive a week at court otherwise. So what's his? Sensitive, sad. He carries mm. within him the weight of a terrible tragedy. He is a good man, but lost. Which is why he comes across as grim. Hmm. Well, this is an interesting evening all around. Didn't expect the evening to end like this. Neither did I. But I have not drawn you out for a romantic stroll. I wish to make certain you know what you are to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotta go to Duntine. I've decided my guardsmen will support you. You will meet them at Counter across uh. Mill. It stands along the San Retour River, near the Cockatrice Inn. Captain de la Tour and his men will await you there at midnight. You shall storm the castle together. All right. Are you all right, sir? Do you need help? Your feet seems to be stuck on the floor. Oh. And now your hand is up the Dutch's bottom. Hey, s stop that! Stop following her. God's sake! Have you no honor, sir? Have you no shame?